Good afternoon to you. Welcome. Peace and development in Buem has refuted claims the decline in cocoa production in the area is as a result of smuggling of the commodity to neighboring countries. President of the coalition, Isaka Buraima, argues that the decline in cocoa production is due largely to neglect and disinterest in cocoa farming. The Buem area, and for that matter, the Jasikan district, was once the highest cocoa producer in the Volta region. And for many decades, the area holds sway as the food basket of the Volta region. Ironically, these enviable records and glories are no more, even though the fertility of the land has not changed much. The conclusion is that cocoa from the area are smuggled to neighboring Togo and other countries. But chairman for the Coalition for Peace and Development in Buim disagreed. This is because we do know that most of the cocoa farms were cultivated by our grandfathers decades ago. And apart from it not producing better yields any longer, there are more people who own these same farms being divided among the children of the demise. Addressing the 12th Buem Congress at Insuta, Chairman of the Coalition, Isaka Buraima, challenged those who believed in the notion to investigate the push and pull factors affecting cocoa production in the area. And institute innovative measures to prevent the occurrence. The government through Cocoa Board must intensify the education on the need for the youth to venture into cocoa farming in the area. Member of Parliament for Buem, Daniel Kwesi Ashama, proposed the establishment of a youth secretariat in Jasikan to help facilitate job creation, employment and skills development for growth. We need to actually lift our load to our knees before we call on anybody to support us. The secretariat will be able to liaise with the MBSSI that we have in Jasika to see the various business or employable opportunities that exist. If we are able to do that, we will be taking a giant stride in the life of our brothers. Chief of Insuta and the Abontindom Hini of the Buim traditional area, Nana Odam Seon, appealed to the district assembly to improve road networks in the area to facilitate movement of goods and services. Chuckle sellers at the Jura market in the Ashanti region say high business fees and commissions charged by middlemen in the market and forestry officials located at the various barriers are pushing them out of business. They say demand for the black product has shot up in recent times. Here's a report by Benjamin Edo. Government has been distributing and encouraging use of LPG cylinders and stoves to eliminate the practice of wood burning for charcoal in the country. It is also expected to reduce deforestation. But the business of charcoal selling is on the ascendancy as high cost of liquefied petroleum gas pushes low-income earners to opt for charcoal and firewood. Whilst a bag of charcoal sells between 18 and 20 cities, it costs 30 cities to refill 6 kilograms of LPG cylinders. Charcoal and firewood are therefore considered as the cheapest energy supplies, especially for caterers who cook for big events like weddings and funerals. But dealers at a drum market are not happy about the fees and charges. They claim each truck of charcoal attracts a fee of 60 cities at the market and 150 cities is charged by officials at Forestry Commission at the barrier. The traders want local assembly to revise fees charged at the market to enable them to stay in business. Times are hard for us in the drum market. The taxes on charcoal are way too much. We need a government to come to our aid. 
The address secretary, Dumasi Municipal Chief Executive, Alhaj Mohamed Braima Bawa, told TV3 the General Assembly will meet next week to review the fee. If the rates are high, they, they, they are at liberty to come to the assembly, we'll sit down with them and see to it that at least they are also able to pay so that they can also break even in their businesses. That's it for business.